Was that a scream? That's a good question. Does that sound familiar? Very. Every single one of these people who witnessed this event, all independently, came to the same conclusion and called me seeking pastoral counsel, asking me what happened. I was like, do you think a demon or something could have came out of her? She like yelled like a scream. Did you hear anything like that ever before? Yes, I have. You guys had mentioned that you were talking about possibly this going back earlier than Kristen. Oh yeah. It's huge. Never seen a bird this big and it was black. And when it went over the trees, you could see the trees moving from the wind. And this thing just glided right over top of those trees. You ever see any unusually large birds? <laughs> That's so crazy. <laughs> There's actually a lot of connections to Logan, West Virginia with Point Pleasant, West Virginia. In 1982, you start getting a lot of UFO sightings in the area, and then you start getting them in Logan, Chapmanville, here in town. And so it just, just a lot of weird stuff in the area. You ever see anything weird on your property? Oh my gosh, it's funny that you asked that. <laughs> Listen, whatever this is, it has been pretty much following us for a long time. From time to time, I do see footprints and I have no idea where they, where they come from. This may be the same being that, you know, maybe that the natives were dealing with. In every horror movie, there's a point where the protagonists, like, figure out what the thing is that they're fighting. <laughs> this is that. So that is what, its resting place? Where I lived while I was a child? 